Good morning, this is Dave Zinn with the Gantt National Forest Avalanche Center, and I am here with Alex Marienthal, who just finished up the forecast for the day. How's it going, Alex? Good, good morning, Dave. <laughs> good morning. Hey, so Alex, I want to start <clears throat> with what everybody's really wondering. Are you still full from yesterday? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> very, very good, very good. Happy to hear it. Uh, now that we've gotten out of the way, uh, can you let us know a little bit about what we've got going for avalanche conditions? Um, well, we had, had that three to seven inches of new snow yesterday, um, and then quite a bit of wind, at least in the Bridger range. It was steady gusts all for the last 24 hours in the 40s and 50s, so I expect some fresh wind slabs there, and uh, I'd be probably staying off of any steep slopes with drifts today um, where the wind's been blowing. All right, uh, so three to seven inches yesterday, did it keep snowing at all yesterday or did, did it taper? Um, it, it was kind of <clears throat> snowing all day, but it really only added, added up to a trace or an inch. It was just kind of flurrying. Okay. Um, and what kind of snow structures do we have out there? Is the snowpack strong, weak? Can it, can it deal <laughs> with three to seven inches or not? Uh, well, there's a, a variety. What, down in Cook City, it's a bit deeper and we've been finding a lot more strong snow that'll probably hold that new snow and wind drifts a little better and, and down there I'd expect those drifts might stabilize a little quicker but elsewhere the snowpack's a bit shallower and we've grown some sugary weak facets and so where those drifts are sitting on those facets I'd uh, got to be looking for those and they might be unstable for a bit longer uh, over the next week so if you're finding that sugary snow over a hard slab or Wind slab, um, I'd, I'd avoid steep slopes with that structure. Okay, so your travel advice to me, what I'm hearing is you're saying with, where there's that weaker sugary snow, stay off of steep wind loaded slopes, um, dig a snow pit and assess the first stability. Is that about right? Yeah, and just <clears throat> especially with that structure to be cautious as we get further away from this last storm, um, while slopes will become more stable, those are the ones that uh, might surprise us during some high, this high pressure as we get a little bit pushing into steeper terrain. Okay, awesome. Thanks for that advice. Um, do we have anything else going on that you want to let people know about? Um, <clears throat> yeah, thanks, Down This weekend in Cook City is the first weekend we will have uh, our weekly conditions update and rescue practice. We'll have an instructor from the Friends of the Avalanche Center out at the Round Lake warming hut. Um, and you just stop by there for, for 15 minutes or 20 minutes to practice with your beak and ask them some questions about current conditions. And, uh, yeah, that'll be a weekly recurrence and we'll post, uh, a summary of the conditions online every Friday morning along with that. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks. Thanks for that, Alex. Alex. Um, well, very good. I uh, appreciate the information. Hope you have a good day. And if you want any more information about the avalanche conditions, please go to our website at mtavalanche.com.